So today, the NFL has decided that they're going to get rid of the Wonderlic test. What would be comparable to that in life is like getting rid of standardized testing, you know, to get to these colleges. Like, let's be honest, these colleges want to know your story more than they want to know your score. So better get out there Thanksgiving. <laughs> Lee, feed a turkey to somebody. Just saying. You got to have a little more story to yourself than just, you know, you know, I have a perfect score and I do nothing else but just do schoolwork. No. Well, with the wonder look in the NFL, it was to kind of gauge intelligence. Now, there were some question marks about it because people were thinking that it was a bit biased, as some people would say about the SAT, especially when you have a league that's 70 percent black players and many of them coming from disadvantageous edu- uh, education situations. Right. So they may go to schools that are already poorly funded, but damn, they got a great football team. Those things do happen in some places in America. It, it happens. And also the NFL has put in place some fines if if some out-of-the-face questions are asked during the interviews that have been found out. I think one player who played for Miami was asked about his mother's prostitution. Do you remember this, Nick, this story a few years ago? I forgot who it was, but his, his, it was asked about his mom's prostitution experience and how that affected him. And they asked that during the interview. So you can't ask questions like that anymore. So since the NFL is getting rid of the Wonderlick, I am going to put myself out on the altar. Uh, Please don't fry me too hard if the score is low, but I think it's going to be pretty high. All right? So I'm going to take a Wonderlick quiz. It's 25 questions over six minutes. I will do my best to read the questions to you as I'm giving the answers. When it's over, it will reveal a score and tell you who you had a comparable score to and who you've beaten. Now, full disclosure, this will be my third time taking this practice test. I'm not dumb enough to come on the air and say, yeah, this is my first time taking it. Be like, this fool doesn't know one plus one. I'm just nervous. All right, Nick, hit the music. All right, question one. Choose the group of words that form a complete sentence. My neck of the woods. Help us save money on car insurance and fuel costs. Wind, fire, water, elements of the earth. We're off. All right, here's my answer. Next question. 39 minutes after 4 o'clock is 21 minutes before 6 o'clock. True or false? That is false. What's the 13th letter of the English alphabet? So KJ. So J is 10. K is 11. L is 12. M is 13. All right. How did you know? I'll ask you after. Yeah, do that. Uh, This year, 16 out of 800 employees who work for Corporation Z received awards for their performance, which is blank percentage of the employees. So for every 100 employee, that's eight, so two, so that's 2% of all the employees. All right. Charlie has four pair of shoes, 12 shirts, five pair of pants, and three watches. Oh, my God. I'm I'm pretty decent at math. How many days could he go without wearing the same combination of these four items? Four pair of shoes... 12 shirts, five pair of pants, and three watches. Skip. How, how many days can he go? I have to submit something without going where? So four, 12, five, and three. So there's two evens, two odds, and all the numbers are odd. So I'm going to say he can go 720 days. I'm just going to put that out there. I don't know. A gallon of gas costs $3.80. How many gallons of gas can be purchased with $19? All right, so that's five gallons because... Six would be, he wouldn't have enough for six. All right. <clears throat> Question seven out of 25. Assume the first two statements are true. All soccer players wear cleats. John is a soccer player. Does John wear cleats? Uh, <laughs> let me assume the first two statements are true. All soccer players wear cleats. John is a soccer player. Does John wear cleats? I'm going to say yes. <laughs> I feel duped. Which object is least like the others? Wheelbarrow, boat, wagon, motorcycle. That's tricky, but boat. Uh, let's see here. All right. Woo. Unscramble the letters to form an English word. There's a D R O H H C R P I S A. Uh, uh, Cro. Adiscropia. Let me submit it. Because I'm going to. If an octagon is 24, how much is a pentagon? Oh my gosh. 
Uh, let's see. My daughter's born in front of the Pentagon. So the Pentagon is five sides and the octagon is eight size. So eight to three. So eight to 24. So Pentagon, that would be 15. There you go. <laughs> right. uh, Carl owns 28 golf balls. Some are green, some are blue, and several are orange. One fourth are red. Are seven golf balls definitely green? So one fourth of 28 is seven. So four of them are definitely red. No, so that doesn't necessarily mean that seven golf balls are definitely green. <clears throat> All right. Counting from 1 to 46, how many fours will you encounter? 4, 14, 24, 34, 44, 5. No, wait. Counting from 1 to 46, how many fours will you encounter? 4, 14. Count 44 twice. No, wait, is it 1? Let's see, 4. 14, 24, 34, 44. I only count five. It's six because there's two fours and 44. Six is not an option, though. Oh, never mind. Options then. are eight, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so let me go with 12 because, because it's a, a, an evenly divisible number. And four times 12 is 48. Jacob was 27th in line at the airport. He was also 27th from the back of the line. How many people were in line? 27, 53, 54, 55, 57, 54, because he's in line two. Counting from one to 100, how many sixes will you encounter? Six, 16, 10, because that's 10, you'll, there'll be 10 sets of sixes all the way to 96. The number 3,868 when written backwards is read. 8,683. Oh, God. All right. Three, eight, six, eight. <laughs> I'm going to cheat and use a pen. <laughs> Three, One eight, minute. six, eight. One minute is eight, six, eight, three. Yes. All right. A synonym for bantering is taunting, teasing, chastising, chasing, bantering. Um, teasing. The bantering is going back and forth, but that's the bad thing. The taunting is worse. I'm going to go teasing. Uh, Ben's weekly parking fee for the first week of June was $26. For the second week, it was eight more than the first week. And for the third week, 16 less than the second week. What is his average parking fee for these three weeks? Enter a numeric value only. Um, so let's see. First week, 26. Second week, it was eight more than the first week. So that's 34. And, and for the third week, it was 16 less than the second week, which is 18. So enter a numerical value for his average parking fee for these three weeks. $11? Submit. Wow, I'm finished. You will never guess what my score. They said, okay, first I can say, your last answer was not submitted because time ran out, which I heard the music go. I still submitted an answer. Guess what I got on the Wonderlic test? I know you got the one with the 40s wrong because I figured it out after you said it. So I'm going to say <laughs> Oh, uh, it doesn't 19. matter at this point. Wrong. I scored a 26 on the Wonderlic test, and I'm as smart as Carson Palmer who scored a 26. Is that not crazy? I told you on this show that I'm not one of those NFL pregame specials. I got real stories in my family. The one with the 40s was 10, by the way. The one because where you need was... to count 40, 41, 42, 43, and 44. That's what it was. That's why I wasn't seeing it. That's right, because I wasn't thinking of the first number. So that would be the fours, the additional fours that I was So missing. that means you got the one with the 60s wrong, too. That so you could have gotten a 28. But I but I scored as high as Carson Palmer, who's considered one of the most intelligent quarterbacks to ever take the Wonderland. Yeah, well, if you got a 28, you would have been smarter than Carson Palmer. But is that what I'm going for here in the show? Absolutely not. I mean, there's a I mean, the idea here with this show when I'm on here on WEEI is to kind of like paint a picture while doing the show. You know what I mean? Like you can get a picture of me literally struggling through that test. And thinking, like, I literally have an entire region of the United States listening to me take a Wonderlic test. 
And if I score like a four, how embarrassing. How, or you know think of the content if you scored a four. You know, you know who would be really good to take this test on, on the station right now? No, not who, nah, no, not him. <laughs> Greg Hill. Who did you think I was going to say? Who did you think I was going to say, Nick? I think Greg would be a great person to take the test. You think so? Is that who you were thinking when I was saying, you know who I think should take the test? Because I heard, I heard everybody in New England said, I'd love to hear. I think team. Wiggy should take it. <laughs> And why is that? Didn't you know what? Already, the whole what? morning show should take it. We should just have the whole morning show do it. You're, they're getting a morning show at night, huh? Like at ten o'clock at night, they're getting yeah. a morning show. They, I mean, but no, it just. I mean, because it's new. I mean, I wouldn't do this every week to so hey, I'm getting better at the Wonderlic test. Is because this is something that the NFL is getting rid of, and yet this is something that has been used to uh, deny or affirm things that people have believed. So I think like Ryan Leaf was one of those people who scored really high on the Wonderlic test. But, you know, just when he got out there was like a, a deer in headlights. You know, I, I chalked that up to him, you know, having kind of like a miracle season in his last year at Washington State. And plus, um, you know, Drew Bledsoe wasn't exactly a bad guy from that school either. So it was, um, you know, but I, I'll take that. I'll take that. I also did a little digging. Des Bryant was asked what he thought about his mother's prostitution. Was that? That was Des Bryant. That's exactly who it was when Miami interviewed him during the process of when he was about to get drafted. That's who it was. Eli Apple, uh, Eli Apple was also asked if he liked men during the combine, and that got a bunch of backlash, too. What team was drafting him? I don't know which team <laughs> asked him, but <laughs> the Giants drafted him. <clears throat> there was a great song in the 70s called... By, uh, the Falcons asked him that. The Falcons asked them that. Wow. Yeah, I mean, questions like that now will get teams fined. And I think it's probably those specific questions that made it to light are why the NFL is like, look, if we get win that any teams have asked these questions, uh, they will be hit with hefty fines. And so I think one start is to get rid of the Wonderlic. Though I don't know. I I might take this home to my wife and say, see, (laughs) I'm, I'm, I'm an intelligent guy. I just play a dummy at home. In 2016, Spencer Drago was asked if he would share his internet history with the team. You know, in a question like that, I would I would say yeah, because his response they, sure I search a lot of food. I wouldn't tell him what I search for, but I think uh, you know I think in when when these teams and and this is just from the other side of that these teams are are making multi million dollar investments and a lot of times they know that an investment in a player is also a potentially good or bad investment in a community. Ask Ray Allen about his infamous come-to-Jesus moment for his family. (laughs) You all sit down, sign this, don't ask me for money ever again. But some players, you know, think these guys are like 19, 20 years old, where now with the tech world it's a little different, but these guys are 19, 20, 21 years old, being handed 40, 50 million dollars. And you've probably seen some of the programs where these guys are giving things on credit. Where they're just like, you know, like, I can go get mama two houses before even getting a game check. So, you know, it, it's a financial pitfall. You know, I think um, that 30 for 30 they did. Uh, what's the kid's name? Uh, Keith McCants. Uh, that was, uh, he was a star at Alabama. Came out and, like, he just, like, went completely broke. Blew, like, all, like, blew, like, $100 million. People ask how. The easy answer is other people. So, I'm proud of myself. Tap myself on the back of my shoulder. You hear that's a hard, that's a hearty tap there. Way to go there, son. Twenty six on the Wonderlic test. So now we're gonna put some of that skills to some gambling next in Parley Vu late night. W E E I with K J. Thank you so much for hanging out. Now back. 